Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today we're gonna to talk about my January budget and how I got myself set up and what this year is gonna look like for me. I'm not saying it's for you. I'm not saying this plan is right for everybody, but I'm just saying this is how I'm tackling my debt and trying to get it paid off as quick as possible so it's behind me. But first the coffee. I love this mug, it's a Ray Dunn mug. Um, I love it because it's big and chunky and it holds a lot of coffee. Mm. And my goop will be rubbing goop on my hands while I'm talking because they're dry today. Um, okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to tell you my plan first and then I will talk with you how my January looked as far as debt goes. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not going to discuss my you know, my salary for my regular job, that salary pays all my regular bills. That's my normal everyday housing, my mortgage, all of that. That goes there. What I'm working on budgeting is my above and beyond income. So my YouTube revenue and how am I managing that? Bonuses, any overtime I get, any other income stream besides my base salary, because my base salary is what it is. It's not going to change very much and it pays, you know, the living expenses. I'm using all of this other income that I get to determine how quickly I can pay off my debt. Sorry, I'm, I'm moisturizing here, guys. My hands are dry. Um, so that's kind of how I'm choosing to look at it. Now, please keep also in mind, I'm a single lady, all the single ladies. So I live here alone. It's only my income. It's only me budgeting. This is not something that I have to, you know, agree on. The cats don't care as long as they have their food and it's in the budget. Don't worry. So this is definitely not something I would arbitrarily do if I had a partner or if somebody lived here with me, it was definitely something I would discuss with that person, but I don't. So it was easy. My meetings are very short because it's just me. All right, here we go. In true me fashion, and this is very helpful. You need to really know how you, like it's very introspective. You need to know how you operate. It's helpful. So I came up with my word of the year this year is intentional. I want to live intentionally. I want to purchase intentionally. I want to stop racing through life, grabbing and, and grabbing and doing and not A, enjoying the process and B, just spending frivolously and all of that. So my word this year is intentional. And this is how I'm planning on living out that word. I'm a list maker. I'm almost done with my first, with last year's YouTube notebook. Uh, but what I did is I came up with a plan, if you will. So here's how my plan worked. Prepping for 2021 bet debt pay down. Number one. Thank you, Billy Joe. I believe it was you that told me this or Vicky. One of you came up with a fantastic idea. I inventoried all of my household products. All of my cleaning products, sponges, mops, heads, mop water, shampoos, carpet shampoo, household cleaners. I came up with an inventory and I brought it all to one place in my house. So I have a closet downstairs that has a shelving unit and has all of my cleaning products in it. And I have determined that the only thing I will need to purchase this year, unless I run out of something else, which I really shouldn't, um, toilet paper, another box of trash bags, and dishwashing soap for my dishwasher. Maybe the second half of the year or the third quarter, I will need uh, dish, dish detergent. But right now, I'm good. I mean, I literally need nothing else cleaning-wise. Um, and my trash bags, I get at Home Depot. It's 150 trash bags for like $14. I've never found them cheaper, and they are great quality. I'm, it comes with two big rolls, so 75 on each roll. I just started my second roll. So I will need to buy trash bags this year. Um, I will need toilet paper and then the dishwashing tablets for my dishwasher at some point. I will need to get some more of those. And that should be it for cleaning products. Done and done. Then I went through and I inventoried all my, I call them HBAs, health and beauty items. Shampoo, conditioner, hair products, 
things, you know, makeup, moisturizers, deodorant, sanitary needs, if you're still in that season of life. I went through, um, because I was a couponer, I have a lot of this stuff. And I have determined, again, I will need nothing for the rest of this year. I should have enough shampoo, conditioner, mousse, hairspray, gel. I may need to get some of my... Um, I use like a mud for my hair to, you know, get it fluffy. I may need one of those. I have a tube, one tube left. We'll see how far that gets me. I don't use a lot of it, so we'll see. But really, I shouldn't need to buy any personal items. Um, I take that back. I do use these, and it's a, really a prescription. My doctor has me use these eye wipes. I will need to replace something like that. But I'm not counting medication, and to me, that's medical. However... I also do not need to get band-aids, ointments. I don't need um, any first aid type stuff, fully stocked on all of that. Now, maybe I will need prescription. Obviously, I need prescriptions. But maybe I'll need um, more allergy medicine like Sudafed or ibuprofen. I'm not saying that I'm not purchasing things in life. What I'm saying is that, girl, you got enough. Stop buying stuff that you don't need. I am also not couponing this year in the sense that I'm not going to go. I do have like extra care bucks coming in and I will use those to the best of my uh, benefit and i.e. they'll pay for toilet paper oh and laundry soap I'll need laundry soap I didn't add that to me let me add that to my list that was the other thing that I may end up needing I even had to break it to my family that I wasn't couponing for them anymore sorry family love you mean it I'm serious about this then I the next preparation was I set up my planner. And I had questions about what a happy planner is. Um, the company name is Me and My Big Ideas. This is the mini. And I've already decided next year I'm going back to the classic, which is a little bigger. But it's a disc bound system. So pages snap in and out. You know, I can just pull them in and out of here and move things around. I got the undated this year because this is the budget bundle, which I actually purchased before I decided to pay off things. But I can take like blank pages and just drop them in and out wherever I want. And yeah, I get this, um, this one I've had, actually this cover I've had for several years and these discs are actually from the classic size because I needed a little extra room. Um, but I've already picked out mine for 2022. Please do not worry. And yeah, I just go through in this budget set. It's undated because honestly, all I want is a month at a glance. I can't, I don't do the weekly. I do a month at a glance. I, I need to see everything out. Um, and then it comes with like your bill pay section here, any expenses over here. And there's extra pages. I just took them out because I don't need them all. I don't have that many. And then you can tie everything together. And then I created my own pages to supplement this. This is like my life. And it has been. I've used a planner for years. This is nothing new. But I have like little um, post-its up here. This is my incentive schedule for work. Receipts or appointments that I haven't put in yet. I even have my PTO tracker in the front. So when I take personal time, I mark it down in here. So this is like life for me and has been. I've used the planner forever. So this is definitely something you may have to get accustomed to. And then I keep mine. My little classic is in this. This is from the same company. Uh, I'm sorry, my mini. This is the mini. I also have a classic cover when I go back to the classic, which is just a little bigger, like I said. Um, because if I'm going to be budgeting and keeping track, I need something bigger. And then you can like decorate your pages with stickers and stuff. Again, I don't need any of those in my life. And then the only thing to supplement that is I pulled out one of my notebooks. And this is my debt payoff journey 2021. So every month at the beginning of the month, I sit down and I write down on a sheet um, what bills are due, what check I plan on that coming out of because I get paid bi-weekly. And that's just my week, my monthly bills. And make sure I have enough money in my checking account to cover my monthly bills. And then I have a spot where I write down like supplemental income. 
example, YouTube revenue. So I know on the 21st, I'm getting YouTube revenue. What am I allocating? Because I pretty much know now what I'm getting February 21st. It's a month behind. And so Jan October, November, December are my biggest months for the year, December being the largest month of ad revenue. So now it's going downhill. So I have to kind of reevaluate and calculate. Um, so that was my next step. The third, the fourth, fourth step is I went and opened up a secondary bank account at a different bank than where I work and bank. So I bank at my, where I have my job, but I wanted a YouTube specific bank account to separate my personal finances from my work or business finances, because really YouTube is a business. I have to pay taxes on this income. You know, I need to treat it accordingly. So I opened up a second account. I've got it all set up. All my YouTube revenue will go in there on the 21st, and then I will distribute from that account. So that is all set up. Okay, so I'm all ready. What do I do? I sat down and I'm just looking off my list of what I did. I made a list of all my credit card debt. Um, put them all out there. And this is not easy, guys. I'm not going to tell you that this felt comfortable because it sure didn't, but it needed to be done. And this is what I mean by the happy planner or the disc system. You can, I have a hole puncher. This is not it. This is actually from the Dollar Tree, but I have a hole puncher. So I made a list of my credit cards. I did also listen to the Dave Ramsey book. And this is step two. Step one of the Dave Ramsey method is put $1,000 in your savings. Make sure you have an emergency fund. Step two is paying off all your debt. So that's where I'm at. I sat down and I wrote down a list. The beginning of January, well, this was really the middle of January. I wrote down a list of all of my credit card debt. So Kohl's, a voice card, a care credit, that was all my dental work, and my Capital One. And I came to a total of $10,072.24. Now, I don't plan on putting anything on these cards. However, interest will come in, like these will accrue interest. So this this amounts will not stay the same. But for ease, I'm just gonna say, this is where I started the month at 10,072.24. So I did that. I looked at my bank statements with a fine tooth comb. Now, Coincidentally, I was also getting my taxes ready for YouTube, so it was easy for me. I had them already printed it out, and I was just going through and noticing, where am I spending all my money? Because I made money on YouTube last year, but please don't ask me where it is, because I just shopped it away. So where do I swipe my cards the most? Shopping. Couponing, shopping, shopping, and more shopping. I think I treat shopping as an entertainment. Like, I get bored or whatever, and I go out and shop. No more. Um, but I also wanted to plan on like, how much do I spend at the grocery store? How much do I spend on pet care? How much, you know, all these things while I'm going through my bank statements. So I determined that I need to stop shopping. Now the Dollar Tree, again, I do shop the Dollar Tree a lot, but that's for my channel. That, so that's a, another reason I needed a separate bank account for Dollar Tree purchases. So that'll all be taken care of because I have a separate account for that now. So I went through and I identified that I do a lot of just boredom or random shopping and that's going to cease for, and this is, so I set myself one year. I'm giving myself a year to get this under control. If I continue on, we'll see at the end of the year, but this is my short, in the space of life, a short term goal, one year to get this stuff under control and to see how much, like it's a challenge, how much of this can I pay off? So then I needed to determine what cash I needed because I'm going to use a cash-based system. So like in January, I determined that I would take out to start $100 in cash for groceries. Um, the boys, I had just stocked up their food, so they, they were fine. I didn't need anything for cat food, litter, and all of that. Um, I brought out money for miscellaneous because I just don't know. So I have miscellaneous funds. And that's like going out to dinner on occasion with my family or friends or whatever. And then I bought out money for, um, I gave myself a shopping budget. And this month I ended up using my shopping budget to go out to eat because I went out two nights in a row, which is not typical for me. Three times this month I went out to eat. Oh, I'm a party animal. Um, 
So I decided, okay, well, this is how much we're going to see how well it, it does. And I haven't pulled out my wallet yet, but it also isn't a full month. So it's not really a good gauge on the cash front, but it worked. I didn't have to swipe my card for anything. And I also left money in my checking for things that I may not remember were coming out because I do have stuff set up on auto pay. And then I have things that I pay out of my checking account. And there was a couple things that came through and I was like, oh yes, I forgot about that which was good that I left the extra money. And it's going to take some time. This is not going to all happen in one month, guys. Okay. So I did my lists and then I put the plan in action. I did open up the second bank account. I wrote down what my cats eat. I don't know how frequently they eat dry the bag, through the bag of dry food. I definitely know they go through about $40 a month in their wet food. Uh, mostly that's for Wellington's benefit because he doesn't, he's losing weight. He's older. I'm just going to feed him what he'll eat uh, and his treats. And then the kitty litter I have yet to determine, but I need to set up a Christmas and birthday budget. So I need to look through all the birthdays I have coming up that I would spend, you know, and whatever I budgeted to spend on these people for their birthday. So that's, um, that is definitely something that I need to finish. I haven't come up, I haven't done that yet. However, I do have Sarah's birthday in February, so I did allocate already in my February for her birthday present. Then I was looking at, you know, where can I cut? Where can I stop frivolously spending? So when I was going through my house and doing this inventory, I determined that I, A, buy way too many office supplies. I love pens and notebooks and pencils. I love them. I'm obsessed but I need to stop. It was ridiculous. So I went through, I did this grand purge. I gave a ton of notebooks and pens and pencils and markers to my niece to take to school for her high school kids and let them go through. And, and some of it wasn't even open. And then the things that I determined that I'm keeping, I used these Dollar Tree containers. So like these are a set of markers. Um, I have colored pencils. I have, and then I have one, I want one with colored pencils, one with my markers, and then one with like um, planning pens and stuff like that. But I, trust me, I purged. So she took two boxes of stuff to school for the kids. So I purged a lot of that. I'm, pur I'm going through my kitchen this weekend. I'm purging a lot of the plastic containers. I do buy way too many storage containers and lunch containers. I don't even leave the house anymore. I don't need lunch containers. If I go back to packing my lunch, like if we go back to the office, girl, you got enough. You need to stop. <laughs> These are the conversations I have with myself. So there was that and clothing. I don't need to just keep buying clothes. I don't need clothing. I don't need to keep buying it. And what I do need, I need to budget for. So like, I know that Lane Bryant is gonna have their semi-annual bra sale. Sorry guys, but it's true, I wear a bra. And I only wear Lane Bryant bras because they fit and they're comfortable. So I know that I need to budget $80 for four bras sometime this year. I can't remember when the sale is. I buy them once a year and the four will last me the year because I rotate them. So that's it. That's my plan so far. Whoo, that was a lot of talking guys. And at the end of the day, you know what I figured out? I buy a lot of junk. I buy a lot of stuff I don't need. I buy a lot of craft stuff. You know, I love crafting, but do I need all this stuff? Probably not. So this year, along with being intentional, I am intentionally using what I have. Instead of adding to it, I'm using it. I want to go through. You know, I was going to make cash stuffing envelopes. Oh, my first my first thought, oh, let's go buy some fun craft paper at um, Hobby Lobby or Joanne. No, girl, you got craft paper over here. Go find some. And I did. And my Cricut, same thing. I've got plenty of vinyl. I've got plenty of iron on. I have plenty of fabric. I have plenty of thread. If it's something that I truly need, I will get it. But it needs to be a need and not just a impulse because I'm very, I can be very impulsive with shopping. So there we go. So how did my month go? Ugh, I'm pulling up. That was a big, ugh. Um, so I did set up some sinking funds. And what a sinking fund is like a savings account, but in cash. So I set up my Christmas one. I don't have a budget yet, but I, duh, I'm gonna need money for Christmas. So I have $56 in there. Some of that was left over from last year. Um, I have a taxes folder because I need to A, pay to have my taxes done and I need to pay taxes. So I have a taxes envelope set up that has, well, let me just get them out because this is the what I started with. 
and oh, no. some of this was um, cash I had on hand and I just allocated it. But these are my little like cash envelopes and they're just cello and then I have a little sticky thingy on the back. So for taxes, I now have $100. I know my tax bill to have my taxes done is $175. I won't be going until a couple weeks as I'm still waiting on some tax papers. Um, and then if I have to pay taxes, which I don't think I will this year. For the pets, I only have $10 in it. I'm gonna stuff some more on my next paycheck because they will need, you know, food and stuff. Christmas has now $66 in it. And postage, this is YouTube monies for giveaways. So I have $22 now. I started with 40, I added five. So I have $22 for postage and that's for mailing out giveaways. Um, and again, this came out of YouTube revenue. So it really is separate from um, my bill paying money, but I haven't separated everything yet. But when I do, because I haven't had my first check deposited into that separate account, February will be the first month that I'm separating things. And then I have other envelopes that haven't been stuffed yet, but like travel, I'm saving up for an Apple watch because that's my reward. When I pay off all these credit cards, I get an Apple watch. I have to have a plumber come, nothing emergency, but I'm saving for that. This is my clothes. Um, I am still in the market for new furniture, but I'm gonna save up for it and not just charge it. Um, Costco is an interesting envelope and for my bicycle because my bike needs some work done. It's 10 years old, but it, it's a trek. I spent a lot of money on it. I don't need a new bike, but I do need to have this one overhauled and I'm counting on it costing two to $300 to get new brakes, new cables, that kind of stuff. So I need to start saving. So Costco envelope is, I just got a membership, but I will need my, I will sign up for a new membership in June. So I need to save for some, my membership, but also what I don't spend at the grocery store each month that I've allocated goes into here because there are items that I shop for every couple months that I only get at Costco or it's a better deal to get at Costco. And so um, whatever I don't use in my grocery budget goes into this Costco envelope and then I can spend it there for the things that I get like bi-monthly. I really wish I would carry my cat food, but they don't. So those are my cash envelopes for right now um, that I will be putting money into. So I, how did I do this month on the credit card debt? Because that's what we're all here for. I started January owing $10,072.24. I ended January owing $8,792.38. So I paid a total of $1,279.86 towards my debt. I was able to pay off the Kohl's charge, so I owe zero on that. And I put $1,000 towards voice, and I put money towards my Capital One. Now, care credit, I haven't gotten a bill. I need to get a bill. I will be getting a bill any day now. I had already paid that in January, so I just guessed what I owed them. I mean, I guess I could go online and figure it out, but not worth it. So I just guessed what I owed care credit, and I think I guessed a little high. So in February, we'll have a better indicator. So, and, and this is how I'm doing this. It's called the debt snowball. So I was paying Kohl's $50 a month and I really never got it up too high. I, I only owed $152 after Christmas. So I paid that off. But typically I would send them $50 a month. Typically I would send voice 150. I would send care credit 150. And I would send Capital One 150. None of those are the minimum payment, but that's just what I would send because that's what I originally had budgeted to send them. So what I'm going to do is Care Credit and Capital One are getting the minimum payment, whatever that is. And I think Capital One is like 130. So I really wasn't sending overly amount to them, but enough. And I think care credit is around the same, like 115, 120. But whatever they are, are getting the minimum payment. And then the difference all is going to go to voice. So the 50 I would have paid to Kohl's is now going to go to voice. So that's 250. 
or 200. And then let's say it's 20 and 20. So 240 now minimum is going to go to the voice card. And then Care Credit and Capital One get their minimum payment. So I'm trying to take like snowball it all this money to this voice card. I only owe $1,715.67 on voice. So when that voice card gets paid off, so that and, and then any YouTube revenue, overtime bonus is also getting, but the minimum payment they're getting is 240 this month. That's their snowball payment. Then out of my regular budget, then I have my side income. I'll do all that and determine if more can go to it, which I hope. I would love to be able to pay $700 on it this month. We'll see. I haven't looked. I know I'm getting a bonus and I know I had some fair amount of overtime. So we'll see. But that's what I, my goal is, to send them $700. And then the care card will be the next one I pay. So let's say I'm able to pay off voice in two months. On the third month, Care Credit will get their 113, 120, whatever it is, plus the 240 I was sending to Voice. Because I don't have a Kohl's card and I don't have a Voice card now, and I'm still sending Capital One the minimum. I hope that makes sense. You're just snowballing, so you're you're I'm never going to change what I'm paying my minimum. I'm just changing where it goes to. So if I said for month of February, I have $500 I'm paying to credit cards. And I used to separate it out over the four cards. Now I'm trying to funnel it into one card to get that one paid off the quickest. And it feels good to do that. And it feels good to see that my Kohl's is back at zero. And I only ran, I, I say ran it up. I used it at Christmas time. My voice and my Capital One, that is all frivolous spending mostly. Um, my care card was dental work. Uh, so there's that. But I'm for, pretty proud that in January I was able to funnel $1,279.86 to, to my debt payoff. So there's a big long-winded January recap of what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. I feel pretty good. I'm excited. Um, the 5th of February. Yes, February 5th is my next payday. Um, that's my first bank or first check of the month. My second check of the month is the 19th, and then my YouTube revenue is the 21st. So typically the second check of the YouTube, I work together, but now that I have separate accounts, it'll be a little different. I have to figure that out this month. Um, the first check of my month, I don't get to pay a lot of bills out of. By the way, I cycle my mortgage, my condo fees, and a couple small things are the first paycheck of the month. The second paycheck of the month is when I pay the bulk of everything else. And that also kind of pairs in with my YouTube revenue, which, um, you know, I have to look at and I, I'm going to have a conversation with my tax lady about what is the best course of action, because I'm hoping that my revenue is going to be up again this year. And I want to be able to, um, have my taxes set aside and all of that. So, We'll see. I mean, it's not easy. It's not a comfortable conversation to have with yourself, your partner, your family, whoever. But I feel like it's a worthwhile conversation. And now that we're in this mode of I'm staying home, I don't need to go out. And quite frankly, I'm saving for vacation. So I also was able to put a couple hundred dollars in my savings account. Um, I would like to get my savings built up a little more. Um, my goal on that front is to have three months worth of bills of all my household expenses saved. And that way, if I were to lose my job, because clearly anybody can lose their job today, if I were to lose my job or something should happen, I want to at least have three months worth of my bills saved up. Um, and I'm close to that. So I just kind of been sleep, slipping a little bit in there, but that's not a priority. The priority is paying off this debt because I'm losing money on this credit card debt every month that it's out there with interest. And it weighs heavy on me and I don't like that. I was debt free before I bought this condo seven years ago, but you know, life happens. My mom had cancer. There was bills that had to be paid and somebody had to pay it and you know, medical bills for her, medications, all that kind of stuff. So I guess I said frivolous shopping, but a lot of it was just life and happenings that need, you know, things need paid. But I'm at a different situation right now and I don't have those extra expenses. So it's time to buckle down and pay attention because I'm going to Ireland.
It's going to happen. They're going to open these borders at some point, and I'm going to leave this country. I want to go on a trip. Dang it. I'm getting stir crazy. All right, everybody. You have a good one. I hope this was helpful. Please let me know down below in the comments if this is something that you would like to see monthly um, because I'd be glad to share. It keeps me motivated and it keeps me accountable. So thank you for your support and I will talk with y'all later.